but on the Subaru today guys um, so apologies for the mess behind we went and brought the Subaru out of storage I brought it up here I was actually supposed to do a video of me getting it started etc but it's literally I had to put the booster pack on it and we blew one of the tyres up and we brought it up here so we've kind of skipped that and we've brought you straight to here purpose uh, today we're just going to do we're going to do a quick flyover and we're going to give it a wash so we're going to use some of the new chemicals that we spoke about in previous videos we're going to try touch this it's got that kind of dust from storage sitting on it because it didn't have a cover on it so we're going to use touch this to try and strip all that dust and dirt off and then we're going to just get into a simple wash on it just to bring it up because the car's not MOT jet so we're going to get it through its MOT so this is just prep so we're going to use we'll also have that mould and stuff to deal with and we managed to get a set of the, the stocks that I spoke about that the for the for the wiper and stuff the originals so we've got a set of them so we'll do it in a later episode the battery here is charging for the car so it's sitting there it's June now and it's good weather so we need to get out and start using it so we're going to prep it so we'll follow us along, we're going to use some of the new chemicals like I said and we'll show you some of the techniques and we'll just we'll do a quick voice over but let's just get the Subaru into action and we'll be back on the Super Turbo ASAP.
bacteria. The seats must have been shampooed and weren't dried correctly, so when it was stored, um, there was mould growth. If you turn around, there's probably still loads on the steering wheel there as well and stuff. Basically, it was a lot worse than this on the seats in the, other, in the video, but I had to sit in the car to drive it up here, so some of it's kind of been rubbed off. Now, just because if you could wipe that off, it probably would wipe off, but it's not going to help us. We need to kill this. So what we're going to use today is we're using BioBrisk, and we're going to soak it in BioBrisk. Normally, we would soak this and then cover it in a microfiber cloth and leave it overnight. But we're just going to give you a quick demonstration here just now. So we're going to soak it in BioBrisk, and we're going to brush it with a, with a steamer and with a microfiber head. Uh, and depending how much we put in, we're going to extract the motorbike way past there. We're going to extract it um, with our extractor. So we're going to do the two front seats because they were bad. We're going to do the steering wheel, and then we're going to do the back seat bench. Uh, and then that means that and we're just going to quickly hover the foot wells. It's just a quick demonstration so as we can get the car ready for the MOT. Or just giving it a general spray, but we're not soaking the place. And just to test first, turn the steamer down out just a wee bit. Between the bio brisk actually killing and, and the bacteria and then the steam doubling up with that, and then we extract and we're going to make sure these are dry properly. The good thing is today it's extremely hot so that's going to aid in the drying but we will get like a hair dryer or something out just to make sure they're bone dry so as the mould is killed and doesn't come back. See the, the dirt and the mould coming off now. I'll clean microfiber, and then the fibres in this is going to grip and help dry. Lift up as well, microfiber. Because I've turned the steamer down, we've not put loads into the seats, we've put the very minimum. They're, they're a wee bit damp, so we're going to lift whatever we can with the microfiber, and then we're just simply going to use a hairdryer. This is quite damp and wet. Now, I'm assuming this is what happened with the last time these were done, that it was left this wet. You can see just the way my hand's putting Max in, it's just because it's that, that damp way. If we leave it like this and we leave it overnight, there's probably going to be mold growth. So we need to make sure they're dry to stop that from happening. So we're just going to finish this seat and then we're going to hit the others. <laughs> Again, I'm keeping it on low steam because I don't want to put too much moisture into the seats. That's a good wee, a good wee way to do it if you're at home. You get a crisp feeling out your seats when you use steam in this way. I'm just using the Karcher SC5. It gets you a good crisp finish. Last part guys, the steering wheel. As you can see it's suffered a wee bit more with the mould. The pores and stuff, they're all clogged with mould. It was a wee bit worse, but my hands rubbed a bit off on the way up when we drove up. So what we're going to use is we're going to use the suffix. It says citrus magic, but it's not suffix. It's in that. Again, I don't think I've done the review yet. But this is what we're using. Anyway, we've not done the review or posted the review, but we've, we've been using testing suffix out. 
it seems to be, it's kind of low foaming, it's not the best in terms of getting that foam and then wiping off, but it's quite a, a powerful cleaner, we have found, and it, it doesn't leave that citrusy film when you when you wipe over it, it leaves a nice crisp finish, so we're kind of, you probably not see much foam off the steering wheel, but we get a nice crisp finish, and we're teaming it up just with a scrub a pad, so we're going to do that, we're going to clean the steering wheel, and then we're going to, to just to get the surface off, then we're going to hit it with steam to clean and kill the bacteria, and then we're going to finish it off with a final wipe. I'm spraying onto the scrubber. If I spray onto the steering wheel, I'm going to overspray and hit everything else. Everything else will get done at one point, but not today. A wee bit of foam. That might be because it's a brand new scrubber pad. Sure, it's the nylon fibers that are in these pads, so they're quite good for getting into all the wee holes and the stitching and stuff. Ah, I did read somewhere. Oh, look at that. Oh. If you don't peep the hole when you're cleaning the steering wheel, you're not doing it right. This is normally Michelle's cup of tea. Mm -hmm. And the whole street gets alerted to the fact that she's doing it. So, after the scrub -a -dub -a, and then we wiped it. That there, I know I've been using the same cloth, but that is actually coming off of the steam. That part of the cloth there. Any car person will tell you, or anyone who's just picked a car up from a valet or a deep clean, etc., will always tell you that it feels so different driving it home, like it's a different car. And I think eight times out of ten, it's it's a steering wheel. Nothing beats a clean steering wheel. It can be. I mean, this car's old in, in consideration to a 17 or 18 plate Audi or something but it doesn't matter any time you get in and you feel that steering wheel it's nice and clean it just feels completely different so we can see we've freed up the pores now and they're all clogged there's a nice crisp finish with the steam nice and smooth there's no grease or oils so we're just going to hover out this footwell and then that's how it's finished for today it's been a tough day um, but yeah, one step closer to the adventures. Thanks for joining us guys and we'll see you again soon.